Hello everyone. Our today's topic is plants. We will be learning further more about plants such as parts of plants and their functions seeds and flowering and non-flowering plants In previous grade you learned that plants grow in different places like on land on mountains in deserts and in water and they give us various benefits such as providing oxygen cleaning pollution from the air providing food and medicine and giving shelter you also learned that there are different types of plants such as creepers which spread on the ground herbs which are very small and fragile shrubs which are also small but not as small and fragile as herbs and trees which are very tall and strong Today you will learn some more about plants such as the parts of a plant and how they differ from plant to plant parts of a plant a common plant has various parts including root stem leaves and flowers root it is the part of the plant that is underground it has many branches which spread in the ground it helps the plant stand upright and also absorbs water and minerals from the soil which it needs to grow we eat roots of some plants such as beetroot carrot radish potatoes and turnips they are called root vegetables stem it is the main body of the plant which jets out from the ground and goes upward as the plant grows it is thin and green colored in plants and brownish and very thick in trees it carries water and minerals from the soil to branches and leaves leaf the stem branches out into leaves leaves are extremely important part of the plant as they are responsible for making food they make food for the plant using sunlight water minerals and air there are many leafy vegetables whose leaves and stems we eat such as 
spinach, dill, lettuce and coriander. Different plants have leaves of different shapes and sizes. Some have very large leaves such as banana trees whereas some have very small leaves such as jade plant. Look at this picture of different shapes of leaves. Flower Flowers are beautiful and colorful structures on the branches of some plants. The flowers are made up of petals and the center of a flower often has tiny seeds. When these seeds are sown in the soil, new plants grow from them. We can add some flowers into our food and also use them in medicines such as chamomile, marigold, garlic flowers and lavender. Fruit Some plants also bear fruits. The flowers often give birth to fruits. There are many fruits which we eat, such as apricot, peach, lemons, apple, mango, and watermelon. Fruits also have seeds which are used to grow more plants. Most of the fruits have seeds inside them like watermelon, tomato and apple. Whereas some have their seeds on the outside such as strawberries. Some have only one seed like mango whereas some have many seeds such as bananas. Do you know the pulses, beans, nuts, peas and grains we eat are all plant seeds. We also eat seeds of plants like sunflower and pumpkin. Each plant has a different size and shape of seeds. Let's have a look at the picture of seeds of different plants. Flowering and non-flowering plants. Some plants grow flowers. They are known as flowering plants. For example, rose and sunflower. However, some plants cannot grow flowers, so they are called non-flowering plant. For example, money plant, fern, bamboo, 
and pine tree. We hope now you have learned some more about plants. If some concepts are not clear, then replay the video again and again. Still, if you have some questions, then ask your teacher.